Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pixel Sanctuary, where today is going to be an extremely exciting day because it happens to be Pink Flamingo Day! It is one of those wonderful holidays that I love to celebrate that is centered all around animals, and uh, I've decided that the time has come to get this flamingo situation under control in the Pixel Sanctuary. Look at all of these keepers. Look at all of these caretakers who are rushing to the call, and they're actually coming over to gather all of the pink flamingos who have been perched inside of our rhinoceros area for quite some time, and they're going to be transferring those flamingos, as you can see, rushing, 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 down the stairs over to our huge panda area where we are going to be moving out a whole bunch of the flamingos. There's 20 freaking nine flamingos. Can you believe it? We're going to be moving out a whole bunch of the flamingos, all of the ones who don't have a name. <laughs> we're going to be halting the breeding program, and we're going to be trying to get the flamingo situation to be not nearly as chaotic as it is, because right now it is nothing but chaos, and we do not need to be breeding this many flamingos. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you guys, let's do this. We're going to come on down, and we are actually going to take every single flamingo adult who does not happen to have a special name will wait till they finish transferring all the flamingos and every single flamingo adult who does not have a special name is actually going to be released in the wild on a grand flamingo release day Woo! and then we are going to go ahead and we're going to put everybody else on contraceptives so everybody goes on contraceptives except for like one or two special breeding flamingo groups and we're gonna oh i love this exhibit so much you can tell where we really started to practice higher level designs in what we could offer all of our animals here in the pixel sanctuary as it's been over 100 days i think it's actually been over 250 days let me check my calendar i have it on my calendar in fact it has been over 200 days we are on day 200 and one, two, three, four, 204 since Planet Zoo came out, and thus day 204 of daily, double daily, and stream episodes. So over 200 episodes of Planet Zoo. And we are finally learning how to make things glorious and beautiful like this. Look at this. Let's just take a moment to appreciate it, because this is amazing. I really love this. Yeah, we did a good job. We did a good job. Ah. All right. Oh, and Anne Anne has matured. <gasps> Anne Anne. I am so getting you a good mate. Oh my gosh. Also, why are there protesters? Who's sad? At at. At at, why are you sad? What's up, buddy? At at, you got stuck? <laughs> For crying out loud, at at. All right, we're going to move at at the third over. And let's make sure, has he had any children? His current mate is Chi Chi, but she is too old. Yes, he has had An An the second. So we're actually needing uh, either A A or An An to have more babies. Can A A have more children? He needs to have like a gold level mate. He can. So you know what guys, we actually need, Chi Chi is too old. We need a gold level panda in here. A gold level panda female for at at huh that's important and i think that the protesters will realize in a second that our panda is okay now <laughs> it might take just a moment but I'm, I'm sure that they'll catch on that hey the panda is getting his food he's fine all right giant panda there we go are there any ladies oh my gosh there's no ladies and there's no gold males there's no nothing Oh my word! That's gonna make life a little interesting. <laughs> Do I have a unrelated male I could add in for Anne Anne the second? What about Yu Yu the second? We're starting to get low on our pandas. That's not good. Yu Yu! Okay, Yu Yu, I think that you absolutely could breed with An An. Let's actually check this out. Current mate is Gigi, but you guys are related. Compare mates to Anan. -An. Okay. Conditions are like 
I, I think that's really cool. I wonder what that means. Conditions are 0% ideal. Condition, conditions with GG the second are either 0% or 42%. So that's current conditions and perfect conditions for what you could have. Okay, I will take I will take that. You you let's go ahead and move you. He he he. A little bit of a pun there. We're gonna move him over there and hope that he breeds with Anne Anne. That would be ideal. Meanwhile, let's make sure that at, at the third will be on contraceptives so that he doesn't breed with his daughter. Excellent. We gotta keep that at, at line going, guys. What we also need to go ahead and keep going is Flamingo Day! And I mean, there's literally no better way to celebrate Flamingo Day. It's Pink Flamingo Day today with uh, taking care of our flamingos, finally. And we're also going to maybe put a whole bunch of cherry blossoms around the place <gasps> and like have that cherry blossom festival that I wanted to build over here with the red pandas in the center. Ah, we'll work with pink things like a whole bunch of the pink flowers and stuff. All right, let's get in here and let's actually check on the greater flamingos. And basically we're going to release every flamingo except for the OG crew. There we go. And Hannah, Aline, Queen Cherry Blossom. Oh my gosh, there's so many flamingos. There's so many flamingos. And we can't release all of the, the little ones. So we're gonna release to the wild. All of these, 10, 10 adult flamingos are now headed out in honor of Pink Flamingo Day. All right, and now we have got a whole bunch of babies and we need to come in. Oh, we have a couple more who somehow escaped me. So there's 12 flamingos that we have just gone ahead and adopted out. These guys escaped my attention too. How did you guys slip past me? Okay, and now we have got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 flamingos that we're releasing to the wild. What a day, <laughs> which is slowly but surely making the flamingos feel better because they're like, oh my gosh, we don't have to worry about overbreeding now. They've just got food piled everywhere. We're going to put every single one of these, these adult flamingos on contraceptives. I'm not playing around anymore. Let's pop over. Species. Filter. Oh, and you can, you can, oh, I had no idea <laughs> that you could actually like sort it by habitat and exhibit animals. That's so cool. And let's do the flamingo. Where are my flamingos? The greater flamingo. All right, every single flamingo here. We can actually put even the juveniles on contraceptives. That makes me so happy. All of you, stop having babies. You're extremely successful at it. Extremely successful. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to go ahead we're gonna sort them by their appeal and the gold level flamingos can stay. And if they have a ancient traditional name, like Aline actually does, then they can stay. But everybody else, we're gonna go ahead and adopt out to help with the flamingo flock issue. And we're going to imagine guys that this is just the happiest group of healthy flamingos being released to the wild. So we have a few more we can send out, but not these babies because they're juveniles. So we just traded out like 20 flamingos <laughs> from from our, our from our home. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have more than enough over here, all on contraceptives. We have all of their little juvenile babies. When are you guys growing up? Look at this flamingo flock! Look at this chaos! Oh my good word. I love it. Alright, so let's see. Um, now that we know how we're handling the flamingo flock issue, I really want to get in here and I really want to make this super fun. And I wonder if today's the day. I have been meaning to make a bridge that will span across this entire area for a long time. And I kind of feel like today might be the day, guys. Now that we're actually celebrating Flamingo Day, 
and like our flamingos are getting some attention i think we're gonna go ahead and we're going to start moving things around a little whoops i don't want to move too many things around at once but we're going to make a path that will cut across the top of our panda area yeah we're gonna do it i think we're gonna try it out and I've been wanting to make this path for a very, very long time. I think it'd be fun to make it like a gold path. That people could walk on because our pandas are kind of like golden. But actually the bamboo path! <gasps> what is more perfect to have with our wonderful pandas than the bamboo path? Of course! Oh my gosh! I mean, it doesn't look... Let's put some down as a test. Oh, come on. That has amazing railing. I had no idea that was the railing on the, the bamboo path. It looks so freaking natural as a bridge. All right, that makes me really happy. My goal is to actually come from, like, this side. So I think I'm going to start from over here. And we're going to have a path meander across the top of the mountains this might be too big yeah this might be a little bit of a too big path let's try shrinking it down just a teensy bit maybe a 20 foot path ta-da yes and if we need to expand the size of it we totally can but i want it to kind of sneak between the bamboo forest and we'll have to lower the terrain right here I knew there was going to be a spot or two we had to do that in. That's fine. Shave this down a little. Just a bit. Because I've learned so much since we were last here. And this may seem weird, like, what does this have to do with flamingos, Siri? But I promise you, it has everything to do with flamingos. <laughs> because the flamingos live here. They, they have lived traditionally with our pandas for a long, long time. I love that we have, like, kind of a wibbly path. It's really sneaking its way across. There we go. And then... We need it to connect up. Nice and neat. With this side. Right there. Ha-ha! What a fun new thing to do! I am tickled. And then we can make a nice bamboo forest kind of pop up on either side. Excellent. All right, we'll move this one over here. These little fountain bamboos. Oh, and we should make it so that there's like a spot where the pandas can come up and maybe get some food or maybe have a toy. There we go. We can put more fountain bamboo up along this mountain spot. And we absolutely need to make it so that people will come and walk over here, donate, have a great time, see our pandas, learn about our pandas. Where's my donation bins? Why do I not have donation bins sprinkled like every two steps over here? Do I want money for these pandas or not? <laughs> like, what am I doing? I have lights and no donation bins? You silly goose. All right, guys, now we're talking. Okay. Oh, and actually, maybe over here we can have a drink! Of course, we can have some sort of drink spot where people could go ahead and they could get a nice drink before they head over to the other side of the panda area. And they could even have, like, a little picnic spot with picnics with pandas! Oh, my gosh, that would be amazing. Picnics with pandas and flamingos. And I think what we'll do is we'll try to call this place, like... We'll, we'll make this shop in honor of the flamingos. And I think what we'll do is we will call it... Like, the Flamingo Guava Shop. Oh, and the pygmy hippos are fighting because somebody's son has just grown up. Hang on one second, friends. There's a lot to take care of. But no, sorry, you didn't even get a full name, my friend. Um, but you're gonna go into the Trade Center. Boom. Because you cannot fight with Hercules. Hercules is Hercules, and I love him. Oh, I'm so happy! I've been wanting to do this, like, wibbly bridge, and put we'll put some trees, and we will build some pillars that will look really natural over here. Oh, Citrus Sabongo is about to die of old age. Rest in peace, Citrus. 
We have put all of our flamingos on contraceptives, finally, so that they will stop having a million and a half babies. And we have started the lovely bamboo spots that I really wanted. Oh my goodness. A lot of this is going to lead to so much more improvement. Here we go. And we can even come down and I can fix some of this fencing. We can put in some beautiful rocks instead. Yay! I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, we're improving things, friends. We are improving things. All right. And let's put down a flamingo guava shop. To have like a refreshing stopover. Like a little flamingo oasis, of course. Because I'm sure that the flamingos would want like a little oasis spot. Uh, information booth. The jungle themed. Ooh, <gasps> yes! Except instead of having jungle themed information, we're gonna replace this shop. If I can get it just right in here. Oh, this is amazing. We're gonna go ahead and we will replace this shop with um, a, a drink station instead of an information station. Are people more thirsty or are they more hungry? They are thirsty. So we will have a flamingo juice shop in here instead. Let me remove that. And let's pause this for just a second. We'll remove that. I'll, this is my favorite new building. So we're gonna be having this place like everywhere. Um, and then let's come in. And we're gonna get a drink stall. No blueprints. Pip shot water, smoothies, juice, the pink flamingo guava juice stand. There we go. Move this and up. And then we're going to have a flamingo chaser come in and be our new employee to work right here. There we go. Do we have someone in here? We do! All right, so I would like to welcome to our group. This is actually going to be Glarn. So welcome Flamingo Chaser Glarn. You are gonna be working right over here, my friend. And we're gonna try to give you a work zone. Uh, this is now going to be part of Panda Mountain. Yes, this is gonna be part of Panda Mountain. So you're gonna be part of the Panda Mountain work crew. You're literally on top of Panda Mountain, which I think is amazing. We're going to definitely train you up. And Panda Mountain, Panda Mountain. Boom. There. Oh, this is glorious. And we will rename this place. And we actually will use one of your guys' names. Sassy. We will rename this place to Sassy's um, Flamingo. Flamingo. I guess it doesn't have to be Guava. Sassy's Flamingo Bird Watching Station! Oh, I love it! So, Sassy, thank you so much. I am so glad you are enjoying our adventures. And I am very excited to give you your very own Flamingo Bird Watching Station. Also, Avina, our Salmon Peak Tarantula died! Oh my gosh, it's been so long! I can't believe that! And let's get any of the cherry... So, what do we have here in nature for cherry blossoms? We have a whole bunch of blossom trees. We have little cherry blossoms. Do we have anything pink? Um, no. Okay, so we're gonna go with cherry blossom themed things. And we're gonna add a couple cherry blossoms up on this cliff right over here. We'll even put them at an interesting angle in honor of all of the awesome flamingos. That's kind of lovely. I love it. All right, hopefully we'll get some thirsty people popping over who are ready for a drink. And hopefully we'll give them what they need. Uh, and then let's put in some places for people to maybe sit. There we go. And also, let's put down these cute little South American bins so that nobody thinks about littering anywhere around here. Because, come on, this is this is a panda's home. Littering here would be really rude, you guys. I hope they can see the animals okay from up here. This might be a little high, as usual. But if nothing else, it'll serve as a good walkway to be able to get over everything. 
Uh, and we might redo it so the pandas will actually crawl up here, which would be amazing. <gasps> we should make the panda cave all the way up here. So redo it so that instead of being down in that little den, the pandas will come up here by crawling up and then they can sleep in dens, in nice cool dens over here. That would be wonderful. Once again, we have started to revamp, improve, and otherwise transform what was our extremely terrifying mistakes that we have made here. Whoops, that is not what I want to do. Into something that we can cope with, friends. I am so relieved. Oh my goodness. And if, whenever you're in doubt, just go with some plants. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. And then twist, twist, twist. Boom. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And align to surface. Such a magical thing. We can also remove some of these little silly pawns that I made way back when. <laughs> Trying to make sure everybody had enough places to drink. Um, we'll be putting something more useful over here. Like maybe a spot for pandas to be able to walk. We'll work on that in the future. Um, and yes, I do think what I want to do is we will work on creating a panda den up here. So that the pandas will actually walk up top to have a little den spot. And thus reveal themselves to all of the curious people who would absolutely love to be able to hang out with them. Let's move that. Oh no! Yu Yu the panda's about to die of old age! Yu Yu, no! Literally just as we figured out like this really cool thing to do with our pandas. Oh, that's such a tragedy. Like literally as we finally figured out how to make it so that the panda den could be really wonderful. Oh. Well, it is the cycle of life and we do need to keep an eye out for more pandas after all. So that we'll be able to keep having many new additions to the panda family. And I do need to actually make it so that this is a little more stable. And like the top of a little interesting mountain. We can fill in the bottom and make it look nicer in just a bit. But I would love to have the pandas climb like literally right up here. Alright, Yu Yu's still holding in there from the sound of it. Alright. There was even a tree? Why did I have an odd tree here? Who knows? Um, that's not gonna work. Tree, you need to just get out of here for a minute. And I never say that about trees. Alright, and we're gonna move this big clump of bamboo down here. I can't wait to replace all of the walls. I thought we'd be going back to our jungle expedition soon. We will. I will force myself. I will say, Siri, no, no, you need to go back to your jungle expedition very soon. Um, but I have to say, guys, it feels really nice to get some of these things in Zudestia Zoo improved now that we actually understand more about just what we did <laughs> totally wrong. It feels really nice to be able to improve this. So we're going to put a feeder up here. We're going to go ahead. We're going to try to... In oh, no, let's, let's entice them up here with... Yeah, let's entice them up with a big feeder. And then we're going to try putting down some scent markers, which they haven't seen for a while. And we're going to see if we can really attract a panda's attention by even getting a little platform feeder put down over here for them to eat. And then a nice large pile of leaves for them to sleep on. So we have quite the enticement up here. Hopefully it will work. Also, we have a lot of improving of everything to do. <laughs> oh, I love it. And I'm really glad that we finally, finally, finally... Oh, there's a flamingo! That's adorable. There's Look at this baby flamingo. He's like, I smelled something weird. And he ran for it. Oh, bless you, little baby flamingo. You bring me joy. All right, let's tilt this down a little bit. And we're going to get some bamboo up along the edges boom 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 like so what a good flamingo this little guy he sensed something new in the force and he was here to see what was happening there we go 
All right, there we are, guys. This is really turning out great. It's slowly, slowly, slowly going to start coming together. We will fix everything, whatever the heck is happening down here. We will fix this. We will make it work. Don't worry. We've got this. This will make sense. We'll do some sort of like little arch that will explain the bamboo. Who knows? <laughs> oh, but for now, I am really happy that we're at least getting some sort of achievement worked out here. And I can't wait to see what else we can really pull off to transform the entire zoo. So if you guys would like to join us on those interesting transformations, do please be sure to subscribe. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.